What's up guys? Good morning, Essential Gear here. So today, I'm going to be doing the news. And these are just some stories that I find interesting, and I guess I'm kind of gauging how interesting they are to other people as well. And I'll probably be doing this weekly. I mean, I read a lot of news, and I try to stay up to date. So I figured I have a YouTube channel now, I might as well talk about it. And the first thing we have here is the Mask Leader Supreme. He's got that thing. He tests positive. And this may be more of a distractor type thing. Or they could be trying to keep this uh, this virus thing in the spotlight. Decide for yourself. But do you remember when that trucker protest was going on? And uh, Trudeau was supposed to come out and talk to all the truckers. But he never did. Because they said he had COVID. And he kind of snuck out the back door there. I wonder if uh, the Fouch had any kind of speaking engagement or thing that he didn't want to do. And he's using the COVID as his uh, excuse there. So the WHO chief, the World Health Organization head, does not believe COVID came from animals. So this guy, Dr. Tedros Adhanom, ooh boy, I'm not going to pronounce that, privately confessed to a European politician that most likely cause of the outbreak was a catastrophic accident at the laboratory in Wuhan. And maybe they're trying to walk this uh, stance back a bit, slowly disseminating information in support of that lab leak theory, because they know that most people believe that all along. I mean, how many people really believe that thing came from a bat? And yes, we did have Biden falling off of his bicycle on his vacation over the weekend. And I mean, really, this is a terrible thing to see. It's a leader of our country, or so-called leader obviously not in, or in control of his faculties. What does that tell the rest of the world? And to me, it looked like he was smiling at something and he, he got distracted. He probably wanted to sniff somebody's hair. And there he is bending down, looking at some kid, all creepy-like. So, I mean, like I said, what does that tell the rest of the world? Everybody is watching. And are they lining him up to be replaced? I thought personally, that he would have already been replaced by now, but he's obviously serving his purpose. So now we have New Zealand wanting to tax the gas coming out of the front end of sheep and cows. I really don't know how they plan on doing this. Maybe it's going to be by weight or number of cows. Do they have some kind of quantifiable way to measure how much gas comes out of those animals? And yeah, I know what you're thinking. This is New Zealand, but I guarantee you, whatever they are trying over there will come here eventually. Here's why food shortages are unlikely to occur in the U.S. How many of you guys actually believe that? Why are they even talking about it? And then how many of you guys love these fact check articles you're always seeing online? So it's saying food processing plant fires in 2022 are not part of a conspiracy to trigger U.S. food shortages. I'll let you guys decide for yourself what you think about that. And I guess we can look at the numbers a little bit. And it is another one. No fires at food processing plants have not been set intentionally. Again, what do you guys think? Kansas cattle died after an unusual heat wave. Yes, yeah, so this is what you guys have probably been seeing online about all these cattle dying. Um, yeah, I... I don't think that went down like how they said. Not even close. This guy has a really good video out on the subject. I'd recommend watching that. I don't even know how you say that. Yanasa. Yanasa TV. Seems pretty knowledgeable. Got a cowboy hat and everything. So the updated list of food-based manufacturing plants destroyed under Biden administration. Is that really is that guy really in charge? So one, two, all the way to ninety-nine ending with the cattle. And some of these are these chickens that are being killed because of that avian flu using the same uh, PCR test there. And just like the Wu flu, I mean, that really has to do with more of the cycles in the test. 400,000 bottles of medication from Kroger Walgreens recalled. So do you have any of this medication? Now, apparently, this wasn't because there was anything wrong with the actual medicine. It was the bottles. They were not childproof. And peanut butter was just recently recalled, too. How many more of these are going to happen? 
before you guys start stacking food. Target expects or expects squeeze profits from aggressive plan to get rid of unwanted inventory. So with the supply chain, all of this inventory is getting to the stores late with longer transit times being expected. And I think I saw the retail numbers were down um, for last month. So also keep in mind that I bet some of these larger retailers are going to begin laying people off. So they're liquidating inventory probably because, I mean, they need the money. They have all this stuff that they projected to be sold at a certain time and they got here late, so they need to get rid of it. How long until that snowball gets all the way downhill to where it's affecting the workers? Then we have Costco issuing a major warning to all customers. And I don't know if it's a major warning. It's more of a gentle nudge kind of trying to tell customers that some of the things that they expect to be in stores may not be there because it's taking longer for them to transit the ocean or because of limited supply. And really, this is just going to be kind of a fact in life, I think. Um, Stuff's going to get expensive, and then eventually, some things just won't be there. It's just how it's going to work. So did you guys know that Costco was in the mortgage business? Up until May 1st, I guess. They're no longer doing it. I think uh, like a lot of companies, they're trying to cut out the fat. I I just don't think it's a good uh, decision for them to be taking that much risk at this time. And like a lot of companies, I think that the smart ones are going to be finding ways to kind of navigate this recession that we're in and find their new niche in the economy. You're just going to have to adapt if you're going to survive. And uh, moving on, two-thirds of the U.S. at high risk or elevated risk of outages of or rolling blackouts this summer. <laughs> yeah, I got a smoke in there. It's a funny little thing. So, yeah, if, if you're not aware, our grid is kind of a joke. It's uh, kind of being held on by strings right now. I mean, talk to any linemen out there. They'll tell you happily because they're tired of working on it. Um, power companies really have no incentive to pour money into the grid to fix it. I mean, they're still making money. And we have much of the U.S. could see power blackouts this summer, a grid assessment reveals. And of course, yeah, as we transition to this fairy dust new power um, of the renewables, we're going to have less supply and demand is still increasing. And like we saw in Ohio the past um, couple weeks or last week, I think it was, my home state, they lost power for a couple days. And really it was because AEP had to shut down the grid to prevent a a worse outage from happening. And, yep, the green tip, they're trying to go after that again. Um, Obama was doing that back during his administration, kind of like a backdoor. But they'll probably be able to do this because I guess how they have this set up with Winchester is they can sell the excess. And it makes me wonder, so this is for the military. Is that excess? Are those like... uh, like bad or blemished rounds. I, I, I never thought about that, or I didn't realize that's where all that came from. So the Department of Defense has updated their policy on HIV-positive service members. And if you're not familiar with how that process works, to be deployed in the military, you have to be fit for full. And there was pretty much a list of things that will prevent you from going overseas, and HIV used to be one of them. So what this memo says is that if you are in treatment and you are asymptomatic, that they'll deploy you now. Not really uh, too big of a deal. I don't think there might be a logistical problem with getting all that medication. I think there might be some limited roles that they'll have these guys um, being a part of. But one thing is the timing. Why are they doing this now? Are they anticipating uh, more manpower for a future war? Possible. Just keep that in the back of your head. All right, guys, getting near the end here. So with Roe in jeopardy, America faces a rare moment when a court revokes a right. Do you guys have a right to kill babies? Did I just offend anybody? If I did, you probably don't belong here. So if you've been living under a rock, um, the Supreme Court is expected to release their decision on the Roe v. Wade case. I mean, should be any day now and really kind of a misleading kind of article title here because it's not going to say you can't do it federally. It's just going to push that issue back to the state. 
And I do think there are about 26 states who have banned abortion. Oh yeah, this is just some sick looking lady talking about how it's going to disproportionately affect this population and what population, blah, blah, blah. All right, moving on. So this group, Jane's Revenge, declares open season on pro-life pregnancy centers. So that's kind of a weird thing. This kind of reminds me of the uh, Summer of Love with all the Black Light or, or Lives Matter protests going on. And just realize that if this thing does get kicked back to the states, there is going to be some violence. So if you work in uh, any one of these affected facilities, I would keep that in mind. All right, guys, last few articles here. If you have made it this far, you are a trooper. So Amazon is rolling out this new invite-only base ordering experience. Now, their stated goal with this is to prevent inventory shortages and price gouging, but it seems a little bit sneaky to me. So they're starting this out with the PlayStation 5, and I guess there's going to be some kind of request invitation button on there, and I think it's going to look like that. So my thing with that is, where does that go to? Is it some person? Is it an algorithm that is deciding if you can buy this or not? Is it first come, first serve? And what's to stop them from doing this with things like food? What if you've bought too much of a certain product last month and you're all out? They won't let you buy any more. Now, easily fixed, just don't buy crap off of Amazon. I mean, I still do it. I'm sure a lot of other people do. But... It's, it's an interesting thing. I mean, I think we're moving more in that direction now. It's kind of got some ESG vibes to me. All right, guys, that's it for now. I'll be back next Monday with another news segment, just talking about stuff that I find interesting. And in the meantime, I'll have some other videos coming out. If you are new here, do subscribe if you enjoy what I have going on. All right, now Central Gear out.